You know, the problem with big motorbikes is that people like you and I can't ride them around. I mean, we can't go zooming around a racetrack on big Suzukis and Yamahas and BMWs and things like that. But now there is a new type of bike and a new type of sport, and it's very exciting. Looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? It's called a bicycle motocross, and it's the fastest growing competitive spectator sport anywhere in the world. And this circuit here is the first of its type in Queensland, and probably the best circuit of its type in Australia. And it's largely the uh, idea or brainchild of young 15 year old Scott Shepherd. Scott, where did you get the idea from? All the American push bike and motorbike magazines. And how did you get the whole thing off the ground? Uh, from the help of everyone really, mainly Dad. And what about the, the guys that are riding here this afternoon? Did they pitch in too? Yeah, oh, everyone's helped us here. Yeah. I see a lot of tyres around the place. Were they, were they hard to get? <laughs> no, we got all the um, Keith Mackay tyres and all the tyre people like that too bring them over and they helped us a lot. And what about things like that little hill behind you and just the, the, uh, the slope of the, the track and so on? Uh, well, we got the drots and all the earth moving equipment to do that. I'm not sure who did it, but... A lot of people would say, gee, it's a lot for a you know, young 15-year-old kid to do. Was it very difficult? Uh, not really. But, not, well, I did have a lot of help with me, but if we didn't have the help, it would have been difficult. Well, Mr Shepherd, you're Scott's dad. Um, a lot of kids will be watching and wondering whether they can do the same thing. Is it very difficult for kids to get something like this off the ground? Brian, I think really it, uh, it's, it's the amount of effort you put into it, anything is what you reap out of it. And I had the desire, because I had my boy, and he was showing a lot of interest in the, in the sport through the American magazines that he'd been reading. And all he did was uh, showed me what the American boys were doing, uh, had a few of his friends that were really interested in it, and uh, we had this vacant plot of land down here which is in the flood prone uh, plain zone and the Brisbane City Council refused to allow us to build on it. So uh, we had three acres, I think it is, that uh, were vacant. So we just decided that uh, we'd get some uh, earth from the creek bank, bulldoze it up here into hills and into turns, as you can see, around the track. And it, it happened that way. We've been very lucky. We've had some really great business house sponsors getting behind it as well. And the boys are assured now of, as I said, about a 12-month period of running for sure. Go! The game goes down, the action's right on. First ever we're going to go to Scott Shepard on the DG. And second place, Brian Lee Moffin. Dion McBride's up into third position. And on the inside, Mark Scott takes a bad time! Dion McBride comes in, on the inverse, down the outside. Around the turn, they come into the street. Scott Shepard over the jump. And Brian Lee Moffin comes with the challenge down the outside. Scott Shepard first to first line. Third, Dion McBride, fourth, Mark Scott, and fifth, Andrew Olson. That's the way the rules that cross the line here at the BMX Centre this afternoon. How much would a bike like this cost, or, or this one over here, and where do you get them? Well, these bikes, the American bikes, you can get them from uh, just up the road. And They're available in Australia, are they? Yeah. And yeah. how much will they be? Well, this one itself costs 199 that's a lot of money. Yeah. What other things do you need for the sport? I see you've got a helmet and yeah, special well, boots on. You need your helmet, gloves, long jumper, boots, long jeans. Yeah. Is it a very dangerous sport? Do you ever have spills or go over the edge? Yeah, plenty. Although you could invest up to $300 in a bike and equipment, with a few modifications to your old dragster, a crash helmet of some sort, and an old pair of jeans and boots, it can cost you a lot less. And whilst most of the kids that take part are guys, they do let the girls on the track sometimes. Where's your helmet, 
seems like a really uh, rough sport for girls, is it? No. Do the guys give you a hard time on the track? No, because they don't race with us. And if you were allowed to race with them, who would win? The boys. <laughs> what do you like about it? Just racing around. It's, it's a challenge. Yeah. And do you have your own bikes too? Oh, um, yeah. Have you ever beaten a boy on the track? No. No, only the little young kids about six years old. <laughs> oh, yeah, the tiny ones. Hey, don't break your mum. Oh, Yuck, well that was bad luck. <laughs> but in spite of the spills, um, I think uh, BMX is going to be really big in Queensland and you can even start up your own rally track if you'd like to, if you have a spare hectare or two of land. And if you'd like details for starting your own track, you can write to Blair Shepherd himself. And his address is 85 Lopwich Road, Windsor, Queensland 4030.